in previous tutorials, we have put some code together that um, works with one question. Uh, what I'd like to do is now make that slightly more complicated and add another question into the mix. Now you can expand on this to, to three, four, five questions, but let's stick with, um, stick with two for the time being. So here was my original question, and I've added another one here as well. Now if I just edit this, you can see that um, I put five as a title. This population is the variable name. And I've set that as a default value for the time being. And as we can see, the second radio button also has a, uh, the population variable, as does the seventh one, as was the third question. So let's have a look at the code. Let's edit and go to action. Now this was basically the original code from before. But because I've added another question, we need to start playing around with another variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this from there. I'm going to keep everything else, remembering that we can change this text if you want. So I'm going to go to logic, you have to excuse that being in the way, and I'm going to take this and here and add it. I'm then going to drag this block of code into that part of the and here. Now, let's go for the next step. So we need to recreate this, but for our second question. So down in logic, which is being obscured by this button here, I'm going to take this block of code with the equals. Fantastic. Right, so let's go back up to variables and find our population variable. And let's whack that in there. So app shared variable name population is equal to and let's find our text, drop that in there, and add seven. So what we've got now is if appshed variable named earth name is equal to Terra, and then and appshed variable name population is equal to seven, do a text alert saying this, and then go to screen ID here. Else, so if it doesn't, so if this doesn't equal Terra, and if this, this answer doesn't equal seven, then you're going to display this text and then go to this screen. Let's see if it works. Let's click save. So that round thing and seven we know is wrong. Let's see what happens. The answer is wrong, and it takes us back. So you would want to add some extra text in there. Let's give it a go. Terra, seven, double click. Well done, that is the right answer, and it takes us back to the Saturn page, which again isn't populated. Fantastic. So essentially what it's doing is just taking two separate variables. Now this can be far more complicated if you want it to. If it has one and in here instead, you could build multiple ands. So if this and this, if this equals this and this equals this and this equals this, for instance, then you could do the same thing. Again, we're getting very complicated, um, but it's definitely worth giving it a go.